Okay, you are with our live Q&A here with Jason Doyle. We've had loads of questions coming in, so thank you so much. So first off, Jason, how are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. It's um, nice weather and I guess um, it's going to be a tough night. Yeah, nice weather indeed. Okay, well, we've got some good questions come in. First of all, I mean, they're groundbreaking. Julian wants to know, what did you have for lunch? We had uh, calamari and uh, just the normal boring chicken Caesar salad. So something light, but uh, I always wanted to have some dessert. I'm a sweet tooth, but couldn't do it on race day. Okay, fancy pants and calamari. All right, Tonio says, what's your goal for the rest of the season? So uh, I guess um, to finish off my league racing on, on a positive. Uh, we've had a lot of uh, negative feedback this year and also bad results, but also um, the Grand Prix need to step it up and, and get uh, past the, the top eight and into a, a medal con, um, position. And, and also we've got to try to stay safe now because it's been um, a few years with a, a lot of injuries and I want to get back on top again. Okay, for sure, for sure. Okay, so Craig says, if you could race with three past riders or present riders, who would it be and why? Uh, definitely Jason Crump, um, obviously he's, he's the rider I've always looked up to, um, Eric Gunderston, uh, I guess he's, he, I've watched him since I was a little boy and, and Michael Lee, um, these, these guys are so naturally talented and I guess you've got to look off uh, their styles and how they ride a bike to, to kind of imitate um, the same kind of style. Okay, good. All right. Well, <laughs> Paco Castagna, we hear this as an inside joke, would like to know what is your favourite sauce to go with your Parmesan cheese? Can you explain what he's asking about? <laughs> yeah, back in uh, Norwich, uh, Paco come over for um, a, a normal Aussie barbecue um, and he brought over some um, Italian Parmesan cheese and he also made his smashed up avocado and I'm not sure he wouldn't tell us our special ingredient to uh, his sauce, but it was nice and um, we mixed it along with a couple of wines and it was a nice night. <laughs> okay, two worlds colliding there. All right, David says, what's your favourite track in the whole world? I'd say Torren. Um, I just, I've, I've always enjoyed it, but I've also had some um, tough times there. But there's no, it's not just one track when everyone says, uh, what's your favourite track? Obviously, there's there's many a tracks, but it depends how they, they prepare them and also um, how well you do that night. Okay, all right. And Jess wants to know, what's your biggest achievement other than being world champion? I guess getting into the Grand Prix, um, I never thought that was going to happen. And also winning the Golden Helmet in, in um, part of bits uh, last year. Um, that was two main goals that I always achieved for. Um, I never thought about being world champion. I always wanted to get in the Grand Prix. So the main achievement would have been the Golden Helmet. And, uh, and to be in the Grand Prix is, is a massive thing for me. Amazing. OK, and looking forward to tonight. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be a tough night, but um, I feel very good tonight. Um, the bikes are working really well and um, we're, we're trying some different things and hopefully uh, it's a step up from when we were riding on the World Cup. Uh, We've we done really well um, with different setups, so hopefully it does the same tonight. Amazing. Thanks so much, Jason. That was your Q&A with Jason Doyle.